the school. Fifty-three is years there. is a long time. It's gonna be some great memories. Back in 1968, Bob Branning and Teresa Holt were wide-eyed freshmen at High Point Central High School. Central was an awesome school. I mean, we had good fellowship. More than a half century later, the brick buildings haven't changed much. The school, in many ways, looks just like it did when Bob and Teresa were roaming the halls. I remember that it was a new school for me that year, and I had new teachers. Looking at pictures from way back when bring back cherished memories. But one day that year is thought of differently. It was just a, a pleasant day. I think it was sunny. Um, I was going to lunch. March 25th, 1968, a little before noon. Bob was by a side door on campus. It was odd because that door was hardly ever locked. That day, for some reason, it was locked. What happened next has followed Bob for 53 years. And I came around the corner when Gerald was firing his weapon. 15-year-old Gerald Locklear shot and killed his classmate, David Walker. I saw David fall, but I didn't approach him because I, I, at that time, you know, 16, 15 years old, I didn't know what to do. The next 30 minutes were a bit of a blur, police questioning Bob. I was just in total shock, you know, just standing there just thinking, wow, I just witnessed this. You know, it's like, what did you see? And I told him what I saw, I saw Gerald like that. Bob would later go back to class. Weird how things were so different then. School went on as scheduled. We were not dismissed or we were not locked down or yeah, no, just don't don't recall anything. It's almost hard to envision when compared to the overwhelming response at Mount Tabor High School just a couple months ago. Students barricaded in classrooms, police searching for a suspect. I don't remember a thing about the, the shooting. In fact, I don't remember hearing about the shooting until the following day. Imagine not knowing about a shooting on campus. Back then, students not given time off to process and grieve. We didn't have therapy people come in and say, do we need to talk to you? What did you experience? Are you okay mentally and all that? We didn't have that. Maybe it's because back then something like this was a rarity. You didn't think or really worry about a shooting on campus. In 1968, signs like this weren't up. I can remember several friends who had pickup trucks, had the rifle in the back window. So much has indeed changed. How we respond, how we process, and how we punish. Gerald Locklear was sentenced to 30 years. He served 11 before his release. From my personal standpoint, I found it a little bit unfair to learn that because I think it was unfair to the victim's family. Wow. 53 years is indeed a long time. And while memories may fade, feelings rarely do. I never felt unsafe in school, never. I wonder how many kids can say that now. Kevin Kennedy, two wants to know.